all I can hear is blah, 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 blah. Hey, Paw fans, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing 10 things that teachers hate. Let me know in the comments below if you can relate to any of these or if you see these in the classroom. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe because it helps the algorithm and I love you so much. And without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Number one, students who sleep during lectures. Today, class, we're gonna be learning about the mitochondria. Oh. Hmm. Michelle? Michelle. You know, class, if you're just gonna come and sleep, don't bother coming. Stay home. Number two, the one who asks for extra credit. Hi, Mrs. Mo, I have a question for you, please. Hey, Samantha, what's up? So I really, really, really need an A in this class. Really, really do. I'm like 10% away from an A. Mm-hmm. So can you like give out some extra credit so I can get an A, please? Samantha, unfortunately, you're gonna have to score higher on your exams and your essays to get an A. I can't just give away extra credit. You have to earn the A. You can't just be given an A. Please, I really, really, really need an A. Okay, well, you're gonna have to earn it. We have a test coming up, so study hard. Number three, the one who just doesn't listen. Mike, I need you to stop disrupting the class, okay? That means when I'm teaching, you need to listen and stop talking to your friends, okay? This is not a cafe. This is class where we learn. I am learning though, I'm just multitasking. You're disrupting other students. When you talk to them, they, they're distracted. They can't focus on what I'm teaching. We all can multitask, okay? It's not a big deal. <sighs> Please, I'm asking you, be quiet when I lecture. Please, I'm asking you, let me multitask. <sighs> Number four. Rules that just don't make sense. Mrs. Mo, I have a question to ask you. Why is it that we can't eat in class? <sighs> hey, Richard. You know, I have the same question. I don't know. It's just a school rule. But, I mean, sometimes we get hungry and it helps me get energy and it helps me focus when I eat. I can completely relate. I mean, I want to eat in class too, but rules are rules. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. We just have to follow them. But they don't make any sense. I know, and I've tried to change them, but... <sighs> I just cannot. Number five, people who use their parents as an excuse. Mrs. Mo, I've decided I'm not going to turn in the assignment by Friday. Um, okay, Ashley, and why is that? Well, because my mom said, oh, by the way, my mom is part of the board of directors. She said I could turn it in late on Monday. Well, did your mom also say that by turning it in late, I'm going to dock off points? Ugh. You can't do that. Um, yes, I can. My mom is part of the board of directors. And you are a student that's going to be treated just like everyone else who turns it in late. But my mom is. I don't care who your mom is, okay? Please. Number six, the one who uses their phone. Danielle, I'm trying to teach right now. You need to put your phone away. It's very important, Mrs. Mo. I gotta finish this. Ah! You need to put the phone away right now. Otherwise, I'm sending you over to detention. Please stop disrupting my classroom. Number eight, the one who always says, I'ma tell the principal on you. Mrs. Mo, I don't think it's fair that you're giving us a quiz, especially a pop quiz. <laughs> Hi, Derek. Well, I mean... Pop quizzes are normal. If you study and you did your homework, you will pass with flying colors. Yeah, I don't think that's fair. So you need to stop doing it or I'm gonna tell the principal. You're welcome to tell the principal, by the way. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell the principal and get you fired. I didn't do anything wrong. Pop quizzes are normal. If you've done the homework, you will do perfectly fine, like I said. Well, I'm gonna tell the principal. Okay, then go tell the principal. I don't really care. Number nine, the students who copy homework. Hi, thank you both for meeting me today. So I've had an opportunity to review the essays that you both submitted. And unfortunately, one of you cheated. They're both exactly the same. So who was it? I, it wasn't me, I promise. It wasn't me. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, you're both going to get a zero is all I know. There is absolutely zero toleration for plagiarism. But but it wasn't my fault. I didn't do anything. I just did my homework. 
I, again, have no idea what you're talking about, and I'm not getting a zero because I need an A to pass to stay on the sports team. Well, how do you explain that both of your essays are exactly the same word for word? I don't know. I don't know. It's not, it's not my fault. Again, I don't know. Number seven, the troublemaker. Naomi, you really need to come to class on time and stop disrupting, okay? I can't have you coming in late, screaming and yelling, causing a fuss because it disrupts the classroom, okay? I don't want to keep sending you to detention. Naomi, blah, 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 blah. all I can hear is blah, 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 blah. Please, can you stop disrupting my class? If you don't like my class, transfer out. I really don't care, but I don't want you disrupting the classroom. Blah, 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 blah. Number 10, the one who's disrespectful. I'm the teacher here. You need to listen to me. I'm in charge of the classroom. You're not the boss of me. I'm not going to listen to you. Okay, who are you? Okay, don't act like you're all that. I'm smarter than you. You're dumb. Excuse me. You cannot talk to me like that. That is disrespectful. Excuse me. Blah, blah, blah. That is disrespectful. No, you're disrespectful. Okay, I'm respectful fully talking to you okay okay well you're gonna be going to detention again this whole week detention i don't care